in the previous lecture we have discussed about the cartesian and uh, polar coordinates now we can discuss some examples first one plot the points p1 p2 p3 and p4 whose polar coordinates are 5 comma pi by 6 minus 5 comma pi by 6 5 comma minus pi by 6 and minus 5 comma minus pi by 6 respectively that means we are given the points having polar coordinates that is p1 is with the polar coordinates 5 comma pi by 6 p2 is with minus 5 comma pi by 6 etc so we need to uh, plot this point in the plane so he, suppose uh, this is the x axis and uh, this is y axis now to plot p1 we have uh, r equal to 5 and theta equal to pi by 6 so we know pi by 6 is actually 30 degree so this point p1 will be obtained by rotating an angle theta equal to 30 degree at a distance r equal to 5 units from the origin that means we know this is this uh, positive x axis is actually theta equal to 0 degree now we have uh, therefore theta equal to 30 degree means we have to rotate this line anti clockwise that is 30 degree that means it will be like this so this will be angle theta equal to 30 degree now to get r equal to 5 we have to move the, or, or we have to consider a point at a distance 5 units from the origin that means it may be like here so this will be the point p1 5 comma 30 degree or pi by 6 so this length is 5 5 units and this is theta equal to 30 degree or pi by 6 that means a rotation in anti-clockwise direction next to plot p2 we know p2 is actually the point minus 5 comma pi by 6 that is r equal to minus 5 and theta equal to pi by 6 okay so pi by 6 is actually 30 degree so we have this point is 5 comma pi by 6 that is this uh, angle is 30 degree or pi by 6 radian so here we need uh, in p2 also we have this same uh, angle pi by 6 but the r is actually uh, is negative 5 so we have to uh, consider the point at a distance 5 units uh, from this direction in opposite direction so this will be the point p2 because this length is actually 5 and it is since, since this angle is pi by 6 radian so so taking minus 5 r equal to minus 5 so it will be the point will be here okay so this is uh, minus 5 comma pi by 6 now to plot p3 we have uh, here angle is minus pi by 6 we know minus pi by 6 is actually this point so this point will be minus pi by 6 or this angle will be minus pi by 6 and here we have r is equal to 5 itself so we have this is 5 comma minus pi by 6 right so uh, minus 5 comma minus pi by 6 this is actually p3 so p4 is actually minus 5 comma minus pi by 6 it will be here here this is r equal to 5 so r equal to minus 5 is in this direction so it will be here point will be here this is p4 uh, minus 5 comma minus pi by 6 so uh, we will be having this okay this is p1 this is p2 this is p3 and this is p4 okay so actually this is this distance is 5 and this distance is also 5 but uh, in, since this is uh, uh, the r equal to minus 5 we are taken this point uh, p2 next one uh, describe the set of points p whose polar coordinates r comma theta satisfy 0 less than or equal to r less than or equal to 2 and 0 less than or equal to theta less than or less than pi so we need to describe the set of points p whose polar coordinates r and theta satisfy these conditions if we have this plane we have r equal to 0 means this point r equal to 2 means a circle r equal to 2 means a circle with the center 0 and radius 2 so r equal to 2 will be this because uh, at any point of this circle we have r th this length is 2 okay this length is 2 so uh, r equal to means this circle 
okay so we have r is uh, varies from 0 to 2 including 0 and 2 therefore r varies from 0 to 2 means uh, all these uh, points okay that is r can take any value between 0 and 2 uh, including 0 and 2 so uh, if you are taking the uh, considering this point we have r equal to this length it is less than 2 because 2 is actually this the 2 is actually the length of this uh, uh, this radius and uh, if you are considering this point it is also uh, between 0 and 2 so uh, this point will be also considered okay but now considering this theta varies from 0 to pi including 0 and excluding pi because we have theta less than or equal to uh, sorry 0 less than or equal to theta and less than pi so theta equal to 0 to pi but uh, theta is not equal to pi right so now what about theta theta this we know this is theta equal theta is the angle so theta equal to 0 is this uh, positive x axis and theta equal to so theta varies from 0 to pi theta equal to pi is this negative x axis this is theta equal to pi so theta varies from 0 to pi means this angle that is theta may be uh, this may be this okay etc so uh, so theta varies from uh, 0 to pi means this to this okay so angle will be from 0 to pi so if you are considering 0 less than or equal to r less than or equal to 2 and theta less than or equal to 0 less than or equal to theta less than pi then this portion will be ignored because this is actually theta varies from uh, pi to 2 pi so this is excluded this region is excluded so the only region it will be this uh, theta varies from uh, this is the point 0 so this is theta equal to 0 and this is the line theta equal to pi so theta varies from 0 to uh, pi and r varies from 0 to 2 so here r varies from 0 to 2 okay so this will be the required region but uh, theta uh, is not equal to pi here because uh, 0 less than or equal to theta less than pi so theta is not equal to zero, uh, pi so we have to exclude this line also we have to exclude this line also okay so uh, the region will be like this okay excluding th this negative x-axis okay so the required region is can be plotted uh, by this this is theta equal to 0 and this is theta equal to pi so this is r equal to 2 actually r equal to 2 means uh, this circle but uh, theta varies from 0 to pi means that it restricts to here only okay and here we used the dotted line here because theta is not equal to pi theta equal to pi the line theta equal to pi is not included in the region so uh, we have excluded like this so uh, this line will be uh, this line is included and this line is not included right next example convert from cartesian to polar coordinates uh, 2 comma minus 4 and from polar to cartesian coordinates 6 comma minus pi by 8 so we have two questions here first one is we have to convert uh, the Cartesian coordinates 2 comma minus 4 into polar coordinates Cartesian to polar coordinates and second one is we have to convert uh, this polar coordinates 6 comma minus pi by 8 to Cartesian coordinates okay so first one uh, we have uh, we are given that uh, x comma y is equal to 2 comma minus 4 we are given the Cartesian coordinates x comma y equal to 2 comma minus 4 so we have x equal to 2 and y equal to minus 4 so we need to find the corresponding Cartesian coordinates. So if you are trying to plot this point, this point, we have uh, two comma minus four means when x equal to two and <coughs> y equal to minus four. So uh, it will be this. So this is two comma minus four. That is, it is in the uh, fourth quadrant, right? Because the uh, y is negative here. So uh, we, we, we have to convert this point into uh, the Cartesian uh, polar coordinates r comma theta. So we know r is equal to square root of x square plus y square. So we have x equal to 2 and y equal to minus 4. So r equal to square root of 2 square plus minus 4 whole square. That is uh, square root of 4 plus 16. That is square root of 20. This is nothing but 2 root 5. And 
cos theta equal to we have uh, r cos theta equal to x so cos theta equal to x by r this is equal to x by r we have x is equal to 2 and r is we obtain that 2 root 5 so 2 by 2 root 5 so this is 1 by root 5 so it is uh, approximately equal to 0 0.447214 so this is cos theta we need to find theta so theta equal to cos inverse of this number cos theta equal to this so theta equal to cos inverse of 0 0.447214 so we will get theta equal to 1.107 radian okay uh, we are measuring this in radian so if you are using your calculator you will get uh, cos inverse of this is equal to 1.107 okay but we are not considering this point 1.107 actually uh, we are taking negative of 1.107 because if theta equal to 1.107 then cos theta equal to this value and if you are taking theta equal to negative of 1.107 then also cos theta equal to this value because we have uh, cos theta is an even function because cos minus theta equal to cos theta itself so if you are considering uh, the value 1.107 and minus 1.107 then uh, the cos of that values are same that is cos of 1.107 is equal to this and cos of minus 1.107 is also the same value okay so we are not taking this value 1.107 but we are taking the value minus 1.107 because we know the point is uh, uh, the given point is in the fourth quadrant so in fourth quadrant we have r equal to this and theta equal to this so here the angle is negative so we can take negative 1.107 107 theta equal to negative 1.107 if you if you are using 1.107 actually this cos theta equal to this satisfies this value and this value if you are taking 1.107 as the uh, angle then uh, the angle will, will be here so we, the point will be here so but this is the point is uh, uh, in the fourth uh, quadrant so we cannot use this angle 1.107 so we need to uh, we can use uh, the angle minus 1.107 clear so theta equal to minus 1.107 or we can use theta equal to 5.176 because this angle theta equal to minus 1.107 can also be written as this this is actually 2 pi minus 1.107 because this is actually this line is actually theta equal to 0 or theta equal to 2 pi so the required polar coordinates uh, of uh, 2 comma minus 4 are 2 root 5 that is r comma theta so 2 root 5 comma minus 1.107 okay now next we have to uh, convert the uh, polar coordinates 6 comma minus pi by 8 to Cartesian coordinates so uh, for that we can take r comma theta equal to 6 comma minus pi by 8 so we have r equal to uh, 6 and theta equal to minus pi by 8 so we need to find x y okay x comma y so we know x equal to r cos theta so replacing this r and theta we have r cos theta equal to 6 into cos cos of minus pi by 8 this is actually cos of pi by 8 itself so we have from your calculator you can uh, obtain 6 into this this will be cos of uh, pi by 8 so we have this is 5.5433 and we have y equal to r sin theta so replacing uh, r and theta we get r sin of minus pi by 8 so we have 6 into sin of minus pi by 8 is nothing but minus sin of pi by 8 which is minus of this so this is minus 2.2961 so the required uh, Cartesian coordinate is xy equal to 5.5433 comma minus 2.2961 okay here actually uh, from this we will get uh, the point will be in fourth quadrant because here we have x is greater than 0 and y is less than 0 so the point will be in fourth quadrant uh, here also we can uh, verify that we are given that uh, the uh, coordinates are r equal to 6 and theta equal to minus pi by 8 so theta equal to minus pi by 8 is nothing but it will be negative right 
now you can try to solve these problems yourself